Hi guys, welcome back. Finally getting some workouts back up on the channel. I know in my last video, I said I was going to try to get up my vacation workout video, but I have no idea what happened to that footage. I cannot find it anywhere. I am still on the hunt trying to recover it off of my SIM card that I believe I recorded it on. So if anything, I was able to at least get up a leg day workout, which I know you all love. So here we are starting off with the first exercise, which is going to be the constant tension hip thrust plus an extra quarter rep at the top of the movement. And so the idea is with adding in that extra quarter rep, we are keeping our glutes under tension for a longer period of time, which in turn is going to just help with promoting more muscle growth. Now we are adding it at the top of the movement because that is where the glutes are going to be worked the greatest. That is where they're under the most amount of tension is when you have them squeezed and locked out at the top. So that is why we are going to be adding it in there. So you just want to make sure that you go down for a full rep and then go down only a quarter of the way and come back up, get a good solid squeeze, and then you can go back down for your next rep. So the full down and up plus that extra quarter is going to count as one rep. And you're going to be doing that 10 times per set. Alrighty, next up we have the Bulgarian split squat. I am holding on to a dumbbell for some extra added resistance. So if you are newer to this exercise, you can do these body weight if you would like, but of course the more experienced you are, you wanna make sure that you're adding extra added resistance to get the most out of every single set. Now, when it comes to this exercise, there are a few different variations you can do to make it more glute dominant or make it more quad dominant. Since I was trying to tackle both of those muscle groups in this workout, I kind of found myself a happy medium with my stance. This is definitely one of those exercises where you have to play around with your footing to find what's going to work best with you and your body and ultimately just give you that contact that you are looking for. So for me personally, I took my stance out just a little bit wider than I normally would if I was only trying to focus in on the quad. So the wider you go, the more definitely the more glute hip dominant you're going to make the movement. I also did a little bit of a lean forward again, just to get my glutes more into that stretched positioning, but neither of those I did too dramatic. I kind of found this happy medium where I was feeling it in my glute as well as my quad throughout the entire movement. And then I also make sure to go down as low until that back knee is about to hit the ground. And for me, this is just my sweet spot whenever I'm trying to tackle both my glutes and my quads with this movement and feel it both as equally as I possibly can. And I do hold on to something when I perform this movement because I do have a previous knee injury, knee issues. And so that just gives me that little extra added stability and reassurance that I like to have whenever I am performing movements like this. So that is definitely an option for anybody who is newer to this movement or if you also have knee issues or just previous injuries or stability issues and you just want to be able to perform this exercise but in a little bit of a safer way, this is definitely a great option for you. up, we are doing the leg press. I did just want to throw out there that I did do a few warm up sets to work up to this heavy working weight. You never want to just jump into heavy working weight, especially the heavier that you are going. So I did just want to mention that, that dependent on whatever your heavy working weight is, just make sure you get a few warm up sets in there, especially the heavier that you are going. So how this entire exercise is going to go is that you're going to complete the three sets of 10 reps as you would any other exercise. On that last set of 10 reps, once you complete that, I want you to rest for around 30 seconds to a minute max. Then you're going to get into the drop set, which is going to be six reps with that same heavy working weight complete the six reps, then hopefully you have somebody there who can drop set the weight for you. If not, you can get off and take it off in between each set. And then you're going to get into eight reps. Then you're gonna drop it again, get into 10 reps, and then drop it one last time for 12 reps. So the idea is to keep the rest as minimal to non-existent as possible throughout the entire drop set. 
Now, as far as how much you should drop the weight each set is going to depend on where you started at. So for me, it's really easy. I just slide off a plate each set and I'm good to go. Whereas if you start off lighter, it's going to be a little bit different. So let's say you only work with one plate, which is completely fine if that's your heavy working weight. So then when you get into your drop set, what you will do is take off the one plate, then add on a 25 pound plate, and you could take that off and then add on 10 pound plates, then take that off and add on five pound plates. And that would be a great way to do the drop set. So those are just some examples just to give you guys an idea of what it should look like, but just make sure you're dropping down in decent increments each set. It does only get increasingly harder, even though the weight is getting lighter just because your legs are so fatigued. But th that is just to give you guys a little bit of an idea. Now we're getting into a super set. So first we are starting off with the leg extensions for the first exercise in the super set. And you're going to be doing four sets of 12 reps. So just make sure that you get that good squeeze at the top of every single rep. And I'll just let you guys watch through this before we get into the second exercise of the super set. Now following immediately after you finish the 12 reps of the leg extension, you're going to go and do some seated hip abductions for 20 reps. So you're going to be doing 12 reps of the leg extension, immediately go over and do then 20 reps on the seated hip abduction machine. If you don't have this piece of equipment, you can interchange it out for any other hip abduction um, replacement. You could just use a resistance band and do them seated. You can do them standing single leg with a plate. You can do them on the cable machine single leg. There's many different alternatives. So that is that for that super set. And once you finish that, we're gonna get into the burnout. You know me on this channel, love me a good burnout. So first is going to be some wall sits, aka death sits. These burn so much. So you're going to be doing two sets of this where you're just going to hold it as long as you possibly can. And then once you finish off with the two sets of the wall sits, you're going to get into some incline glute bridges with an abduction at the top of every single rep. And you're going to be doing a hundred reps of these, just one set of a hundred. You don't need to get through the entire hundred at one time. If you can, mad props to you, especially at the end of a workout, because I definitely can't. But I just want you guys to get through it as best and as quickly as you possibly can. So however you need to split it up as many times times as you need to stop that is perfectly fine just try to keep the rhythm going as best as you possibly can but that is going to conclude this workout so make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it give it a shot let me know what you think subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all in the next one bye guys